YouTube, what's the vibes? Global CZ back in here, you feel me? Today we got some Thai food. And I ain't gonna lie, I tried some new stuff. I usually get the same old, same old basic. Either some rice and chicken or some noodles or whatever, whatever. But today I got some oysters and some Chinese kale if, if that shit don't taste good. Hear me? I got a backup plan. I never had oysters. I heard that shit make your shit go boom. I heard these shits is an aphrodisiac and I heard like it's good for you, it's rich in minerals and zinc and all type of shit. Today we gonna try it, you hear me? Let's try the oyster. And we got a backup plan just in case that shit tastes like boo boo, you hear me? Damn, no fucking up, ah damn, spill some food. Hope this table clean. Hey, I ordered this on Grab. They gave me two spoons, one fork. I don't know why Thai people always give you spoons with food. Like, I'm a black man, I need a fork. The kale and chicken is all right. I should have put a little more oyster sauce on that. A little more oyster would have hit the spot. But I'm gonna save that for later. Oh, this is two spoons in one. I'm bugging. I'm gonna say that one for later. Damn, why they? Holy fam! It's just food, god damn it! It don't get opened up anyway. But hey, let's try to clean. This do not look like the picture, bro. But I guess they took the clam meat. I mean the oyster meat out of this out of the shell I hope I'm not allergic to this by the way like I never had oysters never really thought about having oysters but art is good for you some little garnish okay all right let's try it it don't taste like anything With some rice, it tastes like any old meat. And it's seasoned good. It's seasoned good, too. That's probably why. People be eating these raw, right? I don't know about eating it raw. It's actually pretty good, though. It tastes like, like crab meat. A little more chewy though. But I heard it's an aphrodisiac too. So, I don't know how that's about to go. Chinese kale hitting too though. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. These oysters is busting. Whatever seasoning they put on it is hitting. Next time, I'm gonna try the roasted duck. Next video, I'm gonna try the roasted duck. I never tried the duck. They got that shit like everywhere in Asia. But why not, bro? Why not? Recently, I've been trying a lot of new Thai foods, you feel me? Getting out of my shell. Because in Thailand, you'll walk past something every day and never try it. Then you try it once and then it becomes your shit. You eat it every day. You feel me? That's how Thailand is. Every day you'll be walking by something in the store, on the street. One day you try it and it's like, damn, this shit hit. I was eating basic shit.
Like these fruits I just got. Y'all seen it in my Hoi In video. Y'all seen it in my Hoi In video. I know y'all did. When I went to the fruit market in the morning. I got hip to these shits. And it's not even the first time I've tried them, actually. Like a female put me onto these. She bought these and she kept feeding me them. I'm like, why are you giving me this? You feel me? I wasn't really fucking with them. Then I tried it in a drink in the night market in Hoi Hin uh, the other day. I was like, damn, this shit sweet than a bitch. This shit tastes like grapes mixed with like Guinness. And I started eating them. I'm like, damn, these shits are addicting as fuck. Especially when you make them cold. It's called a longan. I forgot what the name is in Thai, but peep. You open the shit up. It's like a jelly mixed with like a grape. You chew the outside and you spit the seed out. These shits hit. These shits hit, bro. And you get a big ass bushel of them, like. Big ass bushel of them. So you just keep eating them shit. But yeah, I just started trying new shit in Thailand. So I'm gonna do some more of these videos, like trying new stuff. Just trying stuff that I don't try. And these, these oysters are hitting though. I think they like curried them down or something. And as y'all know, I am in Phuket right now. I'm back in my old apartment. You feel me? Back home like I never left. This Chinese kale is something different though. Could use a little more sauce though. What I love about Thailand and the Asian in general, most of their shit, most of their foods is plant based or like fruit based or animal based. Well, obviously animal based, but like most of their shit is nutritious basically. Most things you're eating is for a reason. America's food is like, you don't know what the hell you're eating. You don't know why you're eating it. You don't know what it does for you. It's just bad, bad, bad. Here it's like you'll be eating something not even knowing it's good for you. And they just put it in your food. A lot of fresh herbs and all that. Fresh from the sea vibe. In Phuket, all the seafood is fresh from the sea. All the seafood. The fish tastes different, everything. How many oysters are you supposed to eat? Cause I don't want to eat too much of that shit. Next thing you know, a nigga hard for four days. But hey, you thought I didn't have a bed. You silly as fuck. But hey, this will be sipping on man some orange juice. That 100% orange juice, man. Right, vitamin C. Vitamin C. That's what they call it out here. Vitamin C. But, hey. Surprisingly, I'll give them clams. A 9 out of 10. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. I mean, I keep saying clams. Is clams and oysters the same thing? I don't know. But you know what I'm talking about. Honestly, it tastes like any old meat paws. It don't really got a difference to me. And the seasoning, it like, it's lemongrass. They got, lem um, not lemongrass, lime leaf. They put lime leaf in the shit with some curry, some cucumbers, and some chili, red chili. Tastes like any old meat to me. <laughs> but it do look like brain marrow. Should look like brain marrow. But mix it up in your rice and shit like that. You don't give a damn. It just tastes like any old meat. But hey, Global Season, we out.
Let me know if y'all want more food reactions, food reviews since I'm in Asia. You know? Bounce. Came up out of dirty part, man. How the f I made it out the friends. I don't do no wifey, don't do friends.